Okay, welcome to this demonstration of Mango Map as used by developers and the real estate industry generally. What we have here today is a map of Melbourne in Australia. You can see the central Melbourne. We have a base map layer on top of which we have some redevelopment project information and I've got this data from the Victorian government website. The colors on the map indicate the status of the development from completed to under construction to constructed in the next zero to two years, three to five and so on. If I click on one of these individual redevelopments I'll get a pop-up of the information for that place. In this case the Queen Victoria Markets redevelopment, some information about it when it's due to be completed, the address, location, and you can see here that there's the, uh, an image of the crest uh, of the City of Melbourne. This pop-up is entirely customizable. I can include more or less information uh, depending on what I've got available to me. Some of the other things that we can do with this map, we can switch base maps. For example, if we want to see a satellite base map, we can do that. There we are. Various types of street base maps. And let's go back to our light base map. With this map we can also do address searches, so if I have an address for a place that I know, for example 46 Stan Lee Street in Collingwood, I can click there, it'll take me to that place and then I can find out about that development. There's the Stan Lee Street mixed use development which is completed. I can also do a data search so if I know the name of the development, for example the Maya redevelopment, I can do a search for that. And here it is here. It'll take me to that place and here's the Maya redevelopment in Inner Melbourne. I can use a query tool here to find redevelopments that meet multiple criteria. For example, if I want to know all the uh, construction zero to two years, the redevelopments in Melbourne, I can go get results. And you can see there there are 114 matching results. I can view that as the table. So there's the complete list of redevelopments and I can also download that as a spreadsheet. One other thing I wanted to show you is if we want to see the street view of a particular redevelopment, we can zoom to that place activate the Google Street View tool, position it on the street that we want to see, and then launch Street View. And then we have a view of the redevelopment. We can also print this map view. So if I click the print button, I'll get a nice landscape map of that site, which I can reposition. I can change the text on this map. I can then print it to PDF and email it to somebody. I can also use this map to mark up an area. Maybe I want to indicate a, a new sketch, uh, sorry, a new redevelopment that's coming up. I can create a sketch. Uh, let's call this little Lonsdale development. Done. I can then draw a polygon around that redevelopment, color it, there we go, I can add some text, and once I'm done I can share that sketch with other people, I can copy the link, email it, and so on. And so that's some of the common ways that Manga Map is used.
by developers, planners and the real estate industry to share information. Thanks for your time.